Hey guys, how are we? I'm going to pin these out of the way. How cute are these wee clips from um, MEJ on Instagram? So cute. Um, pinning the hair out of the way, I just gave it like a wee blow dry sort of look. And you guys asked a lot of questions about my skincare and basically I posted a story last night about how I've transformed my skin from being old, haggard, sunbed, pigmentation, awful skin to this and I'm really pleased with how it looks now. Um, it has taken a lot, I do loads of different things, I've tried loads of different things and I'll let Dwight and Sunny shout first. And I'll tell you all the products that I love, ones I would recommend and the places I go to that are Glasgow based for anyone that wants to try. Um, so before, before I go on to the makeup I will show you what I use. Some of my favourite products are all Zo Skin. This is a Dr. Abaji exfoliating cleanser for normal to oily skin. This has like I can't really show you the consistency and I don't want to waste any products, expensive stuff. The Skin Aesthetics actually, Skin's Aesthetics, um, Zara there who does like my profounds and my forma and stuff like that, which I'll get into in a minute. Um, she actually showed me, she actually introduced me to all these products. She gave me the whole set to use and try and I absolutely love all of the products. This one is probably my favourite out of all of them. This I use like, this is like a day and night one. So you can use that however often you feel like you need it, but it's recommended to use day and night. I always use the Zo the Complexion Renewal Pads and I actually cut these in half and just use half on my face because it covers the whole face and also saves products. It's again a pretty expensive one, but so worth it. This is pretty stingy at first, but once your skin gets used to it, it really, really evens it out and it's giving like poreless glass skin. This is, these are absolutely amazing and I hear everyone rave about them. Then every few nights I go in with this. This is like a blue kind of gritty like exfoliant. This you don't use, well clearly loving this. Um, this you don't use as often. I use it every couple of nights and when I do use this it's just an extra like, it's called exfoliating polish so that's like an extra, I use, only use this at night time and when I do use that I go in with the mask as well. I mainly only put this like on my kind of t-zone more and more blackhead prone or like open pore prone areas. This is like a blue clearing complexion mask and it is honestly amazing. When I do that and then I put a bit of tan on my face, like a bit of tan lux or I use, I go in between tan lux, Isle of Paradise, tanologist, honestly I like them all or you tan like spray. Um, so yeah, this is amazing. Um, that's again a nighttime one. What else do I use? I use mainly a lot of like when I'm removing my makeup I use the Inkalist um, Oat Cleanser Mam. I will link all of this below for you. Um, I use this, it's literally £11 and it's amazing. I go between this and Elements but recently this has been a favourite. Um, I've just really been enjoying it and it's super cheap and easy to pick up. I do like a lot of travelling so sometimes I find this a bit easier to travel with because it's lighter but it's super like really same consistency as the Elements but I would say it's less fragranced and just removes your makeup immaculately. Um, also another Zoe Skin product I like is this Daily Power Defence. It's like a serum. Um, this is a really, really lovely serum. Doesn't leave you pure greasy. Feels really natural um, and light on the skin and gives you like a lovely glow. Whereas I feel like a lot of serums and moisturiser can be quite heavy. Um, what else do I use on the daily? This is a Holy Grail, pro Gale, bleh, Holy Grail product. Um, yeah, I, this is something I use, like, even if I'm trying a different cleanser that day or I'm using something different, because I go between, like, a few different cleansers. Did I leave that one behind? Oh, yeah, I also use this cleanser. It's a daily foaming cleanser that's called Eradicate, and I thought I was getting blackheads on my nose, and it turns out they're actually not blackheads. They are called Sevacious Filaments, and I think it's because I use quite a lot of tan on my face. This gets rid of them in one use. I've seen all over TikTok and I was like, I have to try it. I could only get a mini. I've ended up buying a six. I really want to try it. It was sold out. But literally amazing. Love this so much. Um, and I usually only use this in this sort of area. Um, if I'm like double cleansing, I'll use another cleanser and then that one. Um, but yeah, the Caudalie Serum, my favourite product, skincare product ever, ever, ever. My skin was so pigmented and like up here was all. Dark. Do you know one time I filmed a video, right? 
I was about to film a video and I looked, sorry about sunny, it's really worky today. I was looking in the mirror, looking in the camera to film and I was like, I need to get this video done but I can't look at myself and I don't want anyone to see my skin this bad. I put a face mask on my face and filmed with the face mask on. So if you've ever seen that video, it's because my pigmentation on my skin was so bad, I was actually embarrassed to show it. This saved my life. Literally takes away any pigmentation. You can see my skin is pretty much all one tone and this darkness that was up here was making me look cross. It was making me look like angry and this completely took it away. I love this product. Um, these are like, by the way, I go in between all of these so this is just recommended if you want to try any of these. Some are cheaper than others. Um, I do have like cheaper alternatives. I just thought I would show a mix of all the products I do enjoy and then any ones that I've just not really enjoyed I just didn't include in this. Um, another amazing product. You guys know I've worked with Skin and Me for years. I go in between all of these. This, um, this cleanser is absolutely amazing. It's so light on the skin. As you know, Skin and Me, I actually have a code right now. It's Molly Dick. If you want to use it it's really it's a really good discount um this is not an ad by the way i just thought i'd include this but yeah i use the cleanser and the moisturizer this cleanser is so light on the skin and as you guys know for skin and me you can get a daily doser that is catered to your skin it actually says like your name on it how cute so if you need something changing your skin you need something more or something less to change you can kind of filter this with filling out a form about your skin and Skin and Me will be able to cater to your skin. So that's again another amazing product and I know lots of people that have used that have really really enjoyed it. That's kind of a general, I don't think I'm missing anything. Oh this is the SPF I use every day. I use this like before I put on my makeup and if I'm doing no makeup this will be a product. This actually is kind of tinted. It's got like a wee colour to it and it kind of adapts to your skin tone which is lovely. Um, it's a sunscreen gel so it's a lot nicer than like sun cream that's like oily and thick and greasy and um, this is a helio care one and i actually just pick these up on amazon usually and then last but not least double checking i've got all of these um i've covered all of this i think oh no the two moisturizers i die for so this one Olivia recommended it to me and um, she does my facials. It is literally the world's best moisturiser. I will die on this hill for this moisturiser. It is so so good however it is super expensive and I've had to replace it a couple of times I'll be completely honest and say it doesn't really last that long. However when I do use it I feel amazing. It's so good and um, it's called Rep Reparative Moisturiser Emulsion. It's just dead light and like nice and I feel like it goes really well with the Zoe Skin products because they don't actually have a moisturiser. So it's, it's a really nice combination with that. I usually use that like in the morning and then my nighttime one, I use the Drunk Elephant one. And um, this is just the whipped cream one, like the classic and you like squish it up and put it in um, here. I sometimes, if I'm using a tanning drop, like Tan Lux or Tanologist or whatever, I usually put them on here and then squish up the moisturiser and then just mix it on here and then add it on, which is quite a nice wee top tip for you. Um, this is a really, really good moisturiser for applying tanning oils on your face. I feel like it's just really hydrating and leaves it always like really um, even. Again, just a really good hydrating moisturiser. You'll see people going about this. So that's like all my favourite skincare products and then I'll go on to some masks that I use. I use all of the Dr. Dark ones, I really enjoy them. On like a weekly basis I'll usually use the Garnier Moisture Balm ones, I love them as well. I love the Pixie Glow ones, they leave you like glowing. So that's a few face masks that I like to use. Um, I'll usually do like at least one face mask a week. I know this sounds super intense guys but this, if you want an honest answer, I do put a lot of work into my skin and it's not always needed for everyone but I really needed a transformation and for me this has become like a hobby like I and like a form of therapy I love doing my skincare in the morning I love doing it at night I love trying new products I love shopping for new products like it's just something that I really really enjoy um, and it's given me such a I have such an interest in it so I know it sounds super intense but you guys asked so I'm giving you the answer um, what else? Yeah, so places I go in Glasgow for my skin, um, I go to, for the past like nearly year now, it'll be coming up to a year in like February, I've been going to Skin Aesthetics um, and they have gave me the best 
invention ever. It's called Profound and I'm pretty sure I could be wrong. Other aesthetics places called Neofound. I don't know if the name has changed or whatever but I'm sure it's a similar thing and you basically get like kind of moisture injections put into your face. It sounds insane but you will get these jags like these injections all over your face like I mean every ounce of your face and you can even get them in your neck if you have some wrinkles on your neck and it's probably the best thing I've ever done. It's so hydrating, it transformed my skin. I got it done and then like two weeks later my skin looked like someone else's skin. It was honestly amazing. I don't really know what is in it and I just trust Zara. If you have any questions message her. However, I know that it's really good for my skin. You have three sessions of it and then you'll see the full results but after one session I was mind blown and now I just go for a top up like every so often I don't need it as often now because my skin is a lot better but yeah I would highly recommend that and then what else do I get I go for facials I go maybe once every two three weeks for a hydrofacial um, but I have had quite a few different things with Olivia next time I go in January I'm going to get a peel um, which I'm really excited about because I've never had that before um, but it literally Facials are not only the most therapeutic thing in the world, the glow you have after and then like the weekend coming like no other. So I know this is all sounding quite bougie and like I do a lot but as I said as an investment and it's something I feel really strongly about and I just abused some beds for so long that I would really love to transform my skin and make myself look 12 again so I cut my hair into a bob and my face is really pale so I think I'm looking like 14 I hope there's also a filter on this camera so I might look even younger but I would like to look at least 14 so yeah that's some of the stuff I do to make my skin look fresh and healthy and glowy um, and now I will show you how I get my day-to-day -day makeup. I'm actually going to shoot today um, So I thought I would just apply my makeup with you guys and show you what I do in my like holy grail, grail products But I hope the skincare part of this video helped um, And I just read through all of the questions people sent me and kind of just generalized it there I hope that answered quite a lot of your questions, but if there's anything makeup related in this one, I will I will answer them. Someone said fake tan routine, but you guys know I already have a few videos using that, um, using that, showing that. So the first product I usually go in with is the By Ellie Brow Shape. It's called. Um, I seen it on TikTok and I thought that looks incredible, but I don't know that it actually is. I like it sometimes, and then sometimes I hate it. Like I put up a picture yesterday, and my eyebrows looked perfect in it and then sometimes it just gives me white crusty dots so I don't I don't know I did buy this myself and I have been using it pretty often like to try and kind of make it work but I'll be honest it's a difficult product to use it doesn't always work out how you would like it and once you use one brush you have to then it you can't use it again so it, it's not the best for the environment this product I would love if someone could come up with something more practical because even like the Refi one, like I just think makes your eyebrows white. Um, it might be partially my problem because I just have really, really coarse eyebrows so it's hard to get them to stick down. But I'm not like... blown away by any product I've used so far. I tried the honey one. I don't even think it's here anymore. That honey one off TikTok as well just didn't last. Like just would last for like five minutes and then my eyebrows would be all curly again. Um, so if anyone has any soap doesn't work for me either. Literally I've tried it all. Then I've tried but I like the laminated look so it's pretty difficult to navigate. I don't know what I can't get anything that works. I don't like castor oil either, it's so oily and greasy. <laughs> um, what else have I tried? Got to be, that makes your eyebrows crusty as fuck. 
don't know, I can't win. I just have not found the right. Unless you have your eyebrows freshly done, I find it really difficult to find an eye an eyebrow product that I genuinely like. And look, that's them stuck down now, right? And I don't like the shape they are, and you cannot remove this without melting it off. So it's just really annoying. Like there's no moving. No moving it once they're down. Um next I go in with this Holy Grail product. Um it's called Bobby, it's the Bobby Brown This Moon and Rich Face Base. Um, I just use like a small amount of this. I just feel like this really helps your makeup stay down. And it also just, if I've done my skincare like quite early this morning, then it kind of revamps that and hydrates your skin again, preparing it for some drying products that really hydrates it. My boyfriend loves the Bobby Brown. Um, this mint and rich face base. He always goes on about it. When I'm feeling a bit more bougie, I do go in with the eye cream as well and just put that under the eyes. I don't use too much. But it's really nice. Um, that just came in like a, a set once, like a deal. So I just got it and it's actually lovely. Um, recently, I use quite a few different foundations. I love the MAC. Um, like serum one, I love Giorgio Armani, I love um, NARS Tinted Moisturiser but recently I have been absolutely loving this one so that's one I'm going to show you and it's also the perfect colour for me. Um, I got it in Fawny and it has SPF 45 in it which is really good to know and it's called Futurist Hydra Rescue Moisturising Makeup so it's, it's quite watery and runny when you like bring it out when you like squish it out but a little bit of it does go quite a long way and it's just a lovely colour. Let me just show you it. I use quite a lot of the Rare Beauty brushes. Um, this one's a foundation one, I've got the blusher one and I also really like the concealer one. I've just found that these days the beauty blenders and stuff just like take my makeup off. I don't know, I'm just not really enjoying them as much as I used to. And I've like never really been someone to apply my makeup with anything other than that since they came about but recently it's just kind of taken it off. But I don't know if it's just the, the products and stuff I'm using and the type of beauty blender I use. So as you can see, that just blends out so beautifully. I love, love, love this shade. Would you look at that? Gorgeous, I'm obsessed with it. I've really, really enjoyed using it. Then I go in with the classic NARS um, concealer, that's the wrong shade. So I use the shade Custer, Custard and it's medium one. Um, I find like this is a nice shade for when I'm pale and when I'm a bit more tanned. So it's quite a versatile product. I just apply it in here and here and in a tiny bit on my eyelids. Then I also do love these ones. The Kosas ones in shade 3.2 and I think the other one's 2.5. Um, they're nice and light, actually quite a similar consistency to this one. Um, if you're looking for something a bit different, because I'm sure the Kosas ones are a bit cheaper than this. Um, but yeah, all really lovely. Okay, I'm going on my chin and then I do a tiny bit in the middle. I usually blend this out with this concealer brush from um, Rare Beauty. I do love the Rare Beauty brushes, however, I do have to clean them quite often because they're the sort of brushes that when they're like freshly washed, they are amazing, but when they're not and they've been used a few times, oh my God, they are amazing. But I use the Coco Cosmetics um, like 
makeup cleaner and it comes in like a tub and then you rub your product in the tub and then on the lid of the tub it has like a jaggy bit to really scrub it and I find using that one it smells incredible I have like the chocolate and strawberry one it smells so good um I find using that really really cleans them thoroughly and it's also just like an easy product it's like not a fast you don't have to fill up a bath in the in the sink and all that it's just like really really easy because if I'm sitting here and I have like I'm in a bit of a rush and I'm like oh I want my makeup to go on nice I'll just quickly go in there and do it and dry them with a towel and it really, it's really transforms um, your makeup I feel like what you're applying your makeup with is really important for the finishing result so I'm just blending that out best I can And then usually I'll go in with like a damp beauty blender just to take away any excess product or any like harsh edges like that just to kind of blend it out. This is a Coco Cosmetics one. Once I've applied it with the brushes, I like going in and just sort of hydrating the skin a bit with this and taking away, because I do feel like it takes away a bit of the product in a good way. Um, it takes away like the kind of cakiness. So that's the base done and I would say that's pretty glossy. Um, I go in with, I have this in like three colours. I have sand, I have tan and I have... June but I kind of go in between all three. Oh guys I forgot to show you I didn't apply it that's so annoying I usually use this under my makeup so I've taken the lid off and it's a pain in the arse to get back on I would love if this came in a spray but it's just a suggestion it's the by Terry uh, tea to tan face and body this makes such a difference to the colour of your face so I'm really need to go and warm up my face now because I have put tan on tinted moisturiser so I'm going to need a bit of colour but that is a lovely lovely base because it's quite watery and it's quite a ready brown which I always think makes it look more natural but yeah I do like it and I use one of the refi brushes to apply it Um, I always think that gives you the, like, the best result so I'm going to go in with I think this is sand yeah in any areas I like to contour. I just put bronzer directly on my nose. I'm not really a nose contour kind of girl. And then just along the bottom. And then blend out with the other side. Really lovely product. So it's given me like a nice bit of colour but nothing too dark. And then when I'm sometimes feeling like I want to do makeup, we went more glam, I go, go in with a darker colour and just use this end and sort of just dust it on the apples so that it's kind of, when I put the blush on, it's kind of brownie, brownie pinky blush. And I always think that makes a, a nice difference to my makeup. Then before I powder, I go in with this. I use so many different blushers I have every blusher under the sun but this is one I've been using quite frequently um, it's the hourglass one in the shade sacred um, it's quite pink in the bottle quite corally pink in the tube but it's quite a matte product and when it kind of sets it just goes such a natural nice blush colour so I just go in with a rare beauty blut bl blutter blusher brush and Blend that out. I hate when my nose is running mid makeup. And so it goes quite like that. I usually bring that up here and then I go in with powder 
I sometimes use the Huda Beauty one. I use Banana Bread shade and I use like a big beauty blender. But today I'm just going to go in with this because I don't feel as oily today. And I'm not needing this makeup to last that long. So I'll just go in with a light like powder. My favourite one is the Medium 2 Charlotte Tilbury. And I just go in with like so these are the only areas that I powder just because when I over powder I think it makes me look a wee bit cakey I do it on my eyes as well so that I have a nice base for some eyeshadow this is my oiliest area in between the eyebrows so I make sure I put quite a lot on there and then, yep, yeah, the thing on the other side. So that's giving me quite a fresh base. Go in with this, now this Biolay product I do love, it's called Brow Dust. And I usually apply this with a wee angled brush. I have no idea where this one's from. It's just literally always been in that wee pot of brushes and it's very handy. And then I just fill my eyebrows in wherever I think they really need because my eyebrows can be a bit gappy, especially when you do do like brow lamination. Um, it can leave your eyebrows a tiny bit gappy. Tint always does help with that, but I actually didn't get my eyebrows tinted this time. And then see if you just like add like a wee tail. I always think it makes your face look so much more snatched. And so I'll show you the difference in the brows. So they're quite messy and that one's quite quite filled in but like as natural as possible just do the same on the other way So just like so, super light and natural. And then I go in with this wee chocolate Too Faced, it's like hot chocolate set or something. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but it's like, it smells like hot chocolate and it has marshmallows, hot chocolate and chocolate on it and it kind of looks like a chocolate bar. And I just use this wee kind of brownie, like hula coloured um, shades. Sometimes when I breathe it in, it also tastes like chocolate, which is kind of crazy. And I just blend that out all over my crease. It just completely warms up my eyes and makes my eyes look less. Then I go in with the two darker brown shades. Any brown eyeshadow would be fine. And just give myself a tiny wee line. This is a wee Bobbi Brown eyeshadow brush I have in. I love it so much, it's so good for applying. Applying like a smoky winged liner. So that eye's perfect and that eye's a wee bit messy. So I think I'll probably clean that up. Sometimes I just go in with like a wee wipe and just like so, and it just makes them quite sharp. Okay, I've been using quite a few different mascaras as well. I do love the UK Lash one. Um, that's like a nice day-to-day -day one, but because I'm doing a bit more glam makeup and I'm filming a reel for like New Year's Eve looks. I'm going to go in with the Thrill Seeker, um, what's it called? Wonder Volume Mascara, it's really good. And I really like this um, for a more glam look. It's quite good because you don't need to apply a lot for it to look glam. It always looks dead natural. Look at that. It's so good. I personally don't apply makeup on my bottom lash. I think it looks my eyes look makes my eyes look really beady. And then this is one of my favourite products. I got this off a TikTok shop, I think. It's the Beauty Crop We Hydrating Dual Mist Hydrating Hydrating Dual Phase Setting Mist. It smells like cherries. I then go in with like a tiny bit 
of Refai Topaz Gloss Highlighter for a wee bit of glow and I just like rub it here and then like so add it around my, I know it's kind of weird way of applying but I just feel like when it's on my fingers directly it's a bit heavy and it just gives you such a nice glow. Then I usually use lip liner, a classic is Cork liner by MAC and then I use Velvet Teddy in the middle. And then I go in with one of my favourite products on this earth which is the Bobbi Brown Lip Tint and this is the shade Bare Punch but a lot of the corally colours are pretty similar and this just brightens up this dark lip and makes it look a bit more pinky and it's literally the best combo. My friend Carla, Carla Kent who is a makeup artist did tell me about this so I can't take credit but I'm going to show you. So that is the final look. Sorry my light just ran out. That's so annoying. Must go charge that because I need to shoot with it now. Um, that is the final look. That is how I do my makeup. I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything. Sometimes I'll go in with the MAC um, Give Me Sun on my neck and maybe warm it up a wee bit if I'm feeling like a bit paler. But yeah, that is my general makeup routine. It does change quite a lot and actually like a lot of different products. I like changing things up and trying new things. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Have a lovely Christmas, if we don't speak before then. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming on this wild skincare journey with me. And thanks for all the lovely comments about my skin and my makeup. Yeah.